welcome to another video where today we'll be having a little look at one of the videos from the new channel from, from uh, Nathan Thompson, actually. Um, I will spare you the music, that's why this is muted, there is no voice overlay either how, but the music is absolutely horrible. Um, and yeah, so I'd say we, we, we will we'll have a little start. It's it's a bit of a problem because the, the thing is very small, it's I think a, a twice kind of re-upload from, from TikTok, so it's 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 not a particularly uh, yeah you'll see. Also, I'd like to add that, that that this thing down here has an almost hypnotic effect on me. I don't know why. I just can't look away. I I don't know. Um, the solar system is well. First of all, held together is kind of a a, a uh, me meaningless statement almost. It's 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 not like it's a material. It doesn't need to be held together right um, but if you if you're asking is what determines the primary uh, kind of structure of the solar system it will be gravity yes well please use a big G the small G is usually reserved for the acceleration at Earth's surface of like roughly 9.8 meters per second squared Big G, the Newton's gravitational constant, is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11, and then some units that I keep forgetting. Um, yeah, but uh, that's the general gist. Mass attracts mass, correct. The ever name and faceless they. Um, if, if, if you want, you can say uh, Olaf says it. Um, in case, by the way, Nathan, or, or sh should any flat earther see this, I'm Olaf. I'm currently doing my master's uh, thesis in astronomy. I'm also currently working on a paper that will be submitted in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm also doing my master's in physics, so I guess you can say that with day, you, you, you can say Olaf said it. I guess that's fine. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. Oh yeah, let's 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 write it out. I, I, I love it when flat earthers have the have the the urge to write stuff out that's completely meaningless. I mean you, you, you have it written up here perfectly well. I don't know what the issue is, but sure. Why is the time oh times eighty one because Earth roughly weighs eighty okay, yeah, eighty one times the, the much as, as much as the moon. Yeah, sure. I mean the the zero here is kind of unnecessary, but sure. Earth's orbital radius around the Sun should be mentioned here, so it's Moon's orbital radius around Earth, and then Earth's orbital radius around the Sun. <laughs> um, that's a reasonable visualization for the basic concept. Of course, it's not to scale by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, of course, the, the orbit here is perfectly circular, which it's not in real life. It has an, uh, a change of about 9%, I believe, or 10 maybe. Uh, NASA has no problem showing you this part. They, they have their own software site, like the, 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 their own simulation site, where you can actually see the universe more or less in scale. It's also not kind of difficult finding this information, so they definitely do want you to see this. It's just a bad visualization because the sun is so dominant in all of the two scale uh, uh, figures. Oh, the scale is ridiculous, yeah, um, um, if, if you say so. 11% deviation from average. Okay, sure, I'm cool with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a long, bloody way from the Earth to the Sun. That is correct, yes. Yeah, no, it's 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 not nine million, it's a whole bunch more. As I said, it's a long bloody way there. Uh yes, you can calculate it with the formula that you yourself have provided actually. And it's 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 not an issue, but um, credit where it's due. That's one of the few flat earthers that actually 
do the math and use the correct formula for it, although they use they 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 I'm 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 bothered by this being small G, I can't help it. <laughs> but yeah, in principle that's cool. That's Newtons, by the way. Always use units, please. That's Newtons. As as a force. Um I'm 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 not doing those calculations myself. Uh they appear roughly in the range of where I would expect them to be. Um but yeah. So 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 what's the issue? I, I, I don't follow. Those are the attractions in between planetary bodies. Um Okay, I hope you're not going to give them into a coordinate system and you're just giving them random names. Oh yeah, so many numbers. Oh Jesus. O almost as if we use scientific notation for a reason. So um of course this can be right. Um the sun exerts like as it says here, uh, 2.2 times uh, the Earth's force, or like the force in between the Moon and the Earth on the Moon. And I, with, I haven't seen this video before. I only just had a very, very brief look at the beginning. Uh, I bet you that they will now say, why isn't the Moon pulled away from the Earth? Yeah. There we go. So the thing that they that well, I mean, it's not circular; it's an ellipse. You, you you've acknowledged that previously. Um, <laughs> exactly. Why 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 doesn't the sun pull the moon away? Because that's not how that works. You 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 you've now had a look at the forces. Okay, but you also need to have a look at what how they will actually change and the respective velocities, right? Because they are already moving. This is a in a broader topic, a part of orbital mechanics. <sighs> we need to take the velocity into consideration, we need to take the acceleration into consideration, all of these things that are frankly properly complicated even for a two body system, let alone more than two. So um I guess what I'm trying to say is uh why doesn't the the sun pull the moon away? Well, because uh, the 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 movement of the the Earth and the Moon are in such a way that they together move around the sun, right? Um, as 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 they said in the video, the the they, they say it somewhere here. Yeah, Z is eighty one times as strong as Y, so. Uh, uh, the, the, both the, the Earth and the Moon are being kind of pulled with a very, very similar acceleration towards the Sun, right? And so they, they, they always will maintain a very similar orbit. And now it just so happens that the Moon rotates around the Earth with another force that here is X. So, so comparing the forces in this way is wholly incomplete. You would need to have a look at the, the whole um, the whole topic about how the accelerations behave in this case, and then you would need to take into account the respective uh, orbital velocities, because you know the centrifugal uh, force is in this case uh, uh, kind of what keeps it on a, on, a, on a more or less circular or roughly elliptical shape and uh, or, or orbit really. So th th this is not even remotely close to a problem. I, I'm confused why Flat Earthers would say that they would, and I'm also a bit confused about what Nathan wants to say with this video here, um, because they say that using fake globe math to debunk fake globe religion, do they mean that the math is fake and that it shouldn't be thusly, should not be used, or are they saying that it debunks us, even though they have not made a proper conclusion because they've just calculated like three forces? I'm none the wiser. Um, yeah, either way. This is a quick addendum to the forces and the planetary bodies of the Nathan Thompson video. That was really a cropped version of some other video. Um, we, we, Nathan Thompson in this video showed uh, these two kind of slides, I guess, uh, where he calculates the force. Where he says, well, the, the, the Earth-Moon system is here called uh, X, and the, the force here is... Uh, 189. I don't know why he didn't normalize them. It would have been a lot easier. I normalized them later. 
for the things that I will be doing, but whatever. Um, and so he, he, he uses this argument to kind of say, well, the sun exerts two times two times the Earth's force on the moon, and so the, 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 the moon should be pulled off, right? And uh, I thought that this was a, a look at the forces here is like a first step, but that's not where you should be going with this, right? Um, because those are the forces in relation. But when we look at how systems move, we don't need to look at the forces exclusively. We should really have a look at the accelerations, right? Um, so the problem is that they use the, the forces here. Well, really, they should have been using the acceleration because whenever you look at how something moves, you look at the accelerations present, right? So I went through the little effort to actually calculate the accelerations. And, and I, I use the same kind of depiction as they do. I have their forces here. I didn't reject them. I think they should be fine. And I calculated the accelerations here and then normalized them so that they are equally as strong. So uh, in Y and Z direction, you have the, the accelerations between Sun and Earth and uh, Sun and Moon, which are equal. Would you look at that? Um, that's because on average, the, the Moon and the, uh, and the Earth have the same distance to the Sun. And you can see here, that the acceleration that the something experiences is only dependent on the mass of the central body, in this case, the sun, right? So, and, and I calculated the acceleration that the earth has on the moon and the moon has on the earth. And you can see here that the, the, the earth acceleration towards the moon is very tiny and the moon's acceleration towards the earth is also pretty tiny. But the nice thing here is that X and y, uh, uh, Z and Y are the same, right? And from that, you can kind of conclude that the moon and the earth are really pulled by the same strength towards the sun. Um, now, if you add like the other movement into account, like the, the velocity that the planetary bodies have and the resulting centripetal force, and you relate this to the central force, you get orbital equations, for example. And so without going into much detail, I'm, this is not supposed to be an introductory course in all of the mechanics. Uh, the globe maths here makes very consistent predictions that if you include centripetal force in there, uh, you essentially have an orbit. And that's exactly what I wanted to show that the Earth and the Moon are really being accelerated towards the Sun by a, about the same amount, right? So, yeah, I hope that clears things up a bit more. With that, I think that's, that's enough for today. Um, I will leave you there with it. Um, if you enjoyed it, maybe consider leaving a like. If you enjoyed it a lot, consider considering subscribing. Uh, and after I'm done being way too busy, uh, I will upload uh, videos with more educational content or like more explanations on my side again. Till then, I, will, I hope you have a nice day and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!